Ableton has an app. It's called Note, and it's available for iOS devices, and it has dropped today. And I want to give you a tour on how to use it. Basically, you can sketch ideas on your phone or iPad and import them directly into Live. All right, so I'm going to show you a screen capture of what I did earlier in the app. Let's check it out. And uh, we're going to fire up a new set by hitting the new button, top right. And immediately we get a def some default tracks. The first one's going to have a default drum kit. Just going to bang out a little pattern here. And then I can hit this button at the bottom t to capture what I just did. And it automatically figures out my tempo. I can hit my quantizing settings, set them, and now whenever I hit that button, it's going to lock anything in that I play. Let's change out this kit by hitting the kit at the top and just changing the preset. Yeah, 808. Cool. And uh, let's check out the effects. I have pad effects on this kick. I've got a saturator. Maybe let's choose a different preset. And then we can kind of fine tune in here, play with some different amounts, mess with the drive some. See how it's capturing that info there? We're going to come back to that in a second. And then maybe we'll go to the overall kit effects here. And uh, we've got another saturator there. It throws default effects and devices on these tracks, and then you can switch them out if you want. But that's pretty fun. I like to destroy drums. You guys know. Uh, let's create a bass track. Uh, let's change the preset from the default to just something else. Saw bass. Cool. Let's change our layout. Keyboard would make sense. Select the octave. And we can set a fixed length here by hitting where it says no clip. Instead of capturing, let's set a length. We can turn on a metronome, top right, if we want. And uh, let's... Play a little bit here. And if I like what I've got, I can hit add at the bottom to commit what I just played to this clip. Quantizing it to tighten it up. Cool. Let's see uh, what effects I've got. It's a saturator by default, so sure, let's keep going with the saturator theme. Edge it up a bit. And let's go back, let's click on this third track, and let's click on the green button, it's got a default keys pa uh, preset here. Let's click on where it says dream keys, and let's change that preset to something else. Uh, tape keys, cool. And uh, let's change our layout again, makes more sense to have a keyboard. Bump up the octave, and let's come up with a little pattern here. Throw this into the mix. Hitting create clip. Quantizing it. Tighten it up. Let's see the default, uh, yeah, on the instrument here. Let's open up that filter cutoff. Now check this out. I can crank this knob and it's going to capture, if I hit add at the bottom, it's going to capture it as automation. Isn't that cool? So you can add automation in. Let's go to effects. We've got a chorus loaded. Let's, that's cool. Let's give it some more. Effects 2. Let's maybe change it to some delay. We've got some stock default, uh, some stock effects here. Cool. Let's go back. And I think what would be cool for this fourth track is... Uh, let's hit the plus button. Let's add another track. We can add up to, I think, eight. Let's change this default preset to a sampler. So what's cool about the sampler is we can either decide to load a sample or record one on the fly. Now, what you're not going to hear is I actually recorded uh, my voice just singing a long static note. I just hit record sample. You're not going to hear it in the capture. But I'm going to hit record here recorded myself singing, and then you can use your fingers to adjust and trim the start. So I'm hitting the pad, and I'm going to use my fingers here to adjust the front of it. So now we hit that key. There's my voice. 
Let's capture uh, a little bit of this. Quantizing it to tighten it up. It's already got some delay. Let's, just by default, let's, uh, sure. Fun. Let's let's jam with this a little bit. We can uh, show our scene launchers here. We can duplicate or, d or delete any scene. Let's duplicate these out. I like to do this in live. I use the ice pick method where in session view, I like to duplicate everything and then go back and just kind of hack at things. Notice we can edit, jump back into editing our clip by holding down or we can duplicate or delete. And so Basically, I'm just kind of ice picking an arrangement out here. And then I'm going to use these numbers as my scene launchers and jam with this. Let's work on the mix, too. Let's turn that metronome off. Let's work on the mix. This bot, uh, button here at the bottom, we can uh, hit to kind of just tweak this mix a little bit simply by touching the faders, changing them. You can also solo and mute. Here we go. Cool. Bring it back in. Yeah. And then we can hit the same button to go back to this other view. And have some fun jamming out here. Alright, so now I've got my set and let's get it uploaded to the cloud. So the first time you do this, you're going to actually going to be prompted to connect and log into your Ableton account. And so it's actually going to bring up your web browser so you can get logged in. And then you should be ready and set to upload things to the cloud. Uh, first thing is, let's actually rename my set here. I can click here on these three little dots. Let's choose rename and uh, yeah, just rename our set here. Oops, can't spell. Let's fix that. First note jam. All right, we can also upload artwork too if we wanted. Uh, we got it ready to go. Let's hit these three little dots uh, again right next to the name of our set. And now we have the option here. It's going to give us an option to upload it to the cloud. Again, once you get logged into your Ableton account. There we go. Upload to Ableton Cloud. Hit that button. Here we go. We're syncing. And just like that. Done. So now the next step is to actually jump in our Ableton Live software on our computer. And let's see how we can bring it up in live. All right, so you should know that before you are able to use the cloud feature, you're going to have to download the latest version of Ableton Live 11.2.5, which just dropped today. So go grab that, install it. This is the first time I'm trying this, so let's try this together. We're supposed to go to Preferences. We're going to click on the Library tab, and we need to say Show Cloud. So let's turn that on. And uh, it should be over here in our browser. So let's see if we can find it. There it is. So when you click on this cloud icon, you're going to have to sign into your Ableton account. And then you're going to need to actually quit uh, Ableton Live if you've already fired up 11.2.5 and bring it back up. And now I can actually see my session here. So let's unfold it. Let's double click on this .abl file. And uh, we should see our session here. All right, let's see what we got here. Same exact thing. <laughs> All right, so we got our drum rack. We got, uh, looks like we've got, uh, we're using wavetable, right? So basically what we can see here, and again, if I start firing things off, that is so cool. Wow, so that was really easy. So you can see how easy this app makes it to just, create on the go and very easily import your ideas into your DAW. And so I'm actually really looking forward to using this on the on the fly, out in the wild. Could be really cool for field recordings too. You saw how easy it was to sample things. So uh, drop your comments in with your questions. I'll try to answer as many as I, I can. Uh, and let me know how you're using it.